Now, uh, you will be paying about 500 Kenya shillings if you wish to travel uh, using Kenya Railways from, our from the central station all the way to the airport um, express. Uh, if you will, if you don't mind making stops, it will be uh, down to 100 Kenya shillings. Uh, we have Victor Kiprop, who's been following that story for us. And uh, the Cabinet Secretary, James Masharia, is speaking at this moment. That's why I'm happy the media, you came along with us. You have seen for yourselves. You may have one or two questions, additional questions which you may have, over and above what you asked when we started this journey. But once again, thank you very much for joining us today. Yes, Victor. Let me address the last one about COVID and then I'll ask um, the two MDs to, ask, uh, to answer the issue about uh, operational logistics. COVID management is critical for all of us. That's why um, when we introduced the specific protocols for Matatus, we also did introduce protocols for SGR. And we said that time, that SGR, regardless of the demand, it will be only be taking 60% of the passengers. We made sure we visited the stations very frequently to make sure they sanitize, you know, the people are sanitizing, to make sure they are following all the other protocols required. And so this is something which we, we shall be taking also very seriously, not just within the train itself, but also within the stations in terms of making sure that there is proper sanitization. As you know, people get fatigued with these protocols, but we are accurately saying we shall be taking very stringent measures. The inspectors who have been employed by the SGR, we will make sure that in every train, those protocols continue to be followed. We'd like to know if there are any specific cases where people have not complied because we shall be taking very serious action. But let me ask the two MDs to, to come and answer the other questions about um, what you asked about last mile and so forth. Thank you, CS. Uh, as to the question about what does this mean for our airport users, uh, I would like to say that uh, for Kenya Airports Authority, our motto is to provide stress-free travel. And therefore, what we have witnessed to today goes a long way to demonstrate uh, our commitment to providing that stress-free travel. The journey from uh, the Nairobi Central Station to uh, Embakasi Station took about 20 minutes. And uh, the journey from uh, the Mbakasi station to the airport uh, would not be anything more than 10 minutes. I know today because we were inspecting the infrastructure along the way, it took slightly longer. So all in all, if you are looking at a journey that is not more than 30 minutes compared to what our airport users and especially passengers would experience on Mombasa Highway, uh, given that uh, it's uh, the Nairobi Expressway uh, project is under construction, you are talking of tremendous improvement in the, uh, the, 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 the experience by our airport users. So this means a great deal for us and we shall do everything possible uh, to make sure that it is a success. I hope I've addressed your question. Thank you. I think um, I'm answering a question on uh, who will be operating the BRTs. 
pomodi.